Welcome guys, in this video I am going to show how to deploy our uh, front end uh, react application in uh, Netlist type for free. So for this uh, we can uh, deploy uh, our application using uh, three uh, repository services, so GitHub and uh, Bitbucket or uh, GitLab. For this um, I already have account in uh, Netlify, so if you don't have uh, sign up for one. So for this uh, we can create a new site from Git. So before uh, that uh, we can go and uh, create a new uh, repository for this demo and I'm going to create a new uh, react application in this repository I'm going to use that application to be deployed in uh, Netlify so let me create uh, the repository I mean let's make it as a public repo uh, I think I don't need read more okay let me create a repository so once I get the repository, I'm going to use a create React app for, for creating a new bootstrap or React application. So I'm going to deploy that. So let me clone this uh, repository in my local. Git clone the git endpoint. Once we do that, uh, we will be having the folder. Then uh, I'm going inside the folder and I'm going to create a new React application using Create React app. So let me just check the syntax for creating a new application. So this is npx create React app and uh, the app name. Let me go and uh, open my application and uh, open command prompt for this to create application. I'm going to run the command npx create react app since I was already inside that folder I'm not going to specify the app name I'm just making it as dot it will create the application in the current folder so the application is being created let's wait for a few seconds Once our application is installed, uh, let's uh, start our uh, development server so that we'll be able to see that in our localhost first before actually pushing it to the repo. Let me open this uh, folder in uh, VS Code and uh, let's modify something in the landing page. Uh, we, this comes with the default landing page. I'm just going to change some text there. Inside app.js we have a standard template of our new react application so i'm going to change the text here let's try with each channel and then i'm going to add that so this is uh, the application that I'm going to deploy. So let me add this uh, files and uh, commit it to the master repository. So usually you will be uh, working on a different branch and uh, you need to merge all the changes to the master branch if you to actually deploy it. But you can use any branch uh, of your choice to deploy in an uh, application. So there's a, there is an option to choose a branch. So let me comment all these files. I mean, before actually committing, we need to create a new one more file. This is specifically for uh, Netlify. So uh, underscore redirects file. So this uh, this will create a problem sometimes for uh, the application which we are uh, using a uh, browser router. So when we have a browser router, when we refresh the page, it will uh, show chrono code. So for to avoid that, uh, whenever something uh, error happens, we will redirect uh, again the index.html instead of error page. By that way, the front-end application always receives the index.html. So let me add all the files. And push it to the repository.
once you push, I think you will be able to see the files that you just pushed in your repository to refresh the page. And then I'm going to go back to the Netlify and uh, configure my new application. Let me connect it to my uh, GitHub uh, repository we just created. And I need to choose if it is not in the list or you should actually click on uh, configure Netlify on GitHub and uh, add permission for this uh, repository that we just created. Go to the list of repositories and uh, search for the newly created repository and uh, add it to the list. And then uh, you can uh, save this. And once you go back, uh, you will be able to see your uh, repository here. So you, here you can choose the branch to deploy uh, whenever something is committed to that branch. I'm going to use master and these are the build commands of React. So if you want advanced configuration, you can stick the document and add it. For the basic demo, I think this is done. So I'm going to deploy my site. So this is my site and I think it's building right now. So let's go and check the deployment logs. So the CACD was automatically added to our application. So whenever you commit to the master branch, this build process will trigger. So now the build process is going on on the CI/CD server. Now uh, the application is actually building uh, using create reactor. Once we get the files, it will be uploaded and uh, it will be available for us. Which your site is live. Okay, our site is live now. So you can uh, click on the preview to actually preview the deployed uh, website. So this is our application. So you can go back to our application home page and you can find the link for our application. This is a temporary link created uh, by uh, Netlify. You can actually change that or you can add a custom domain for your application here. Okay, I'm going to edit the site name for uh, easier uh, usage. I'm going to use test react. Netlify deployment. And we'll be able to access our application from this endpoint from now on. So let me open it so that you can see the deployed website again. Now our application is all live. So we have other uh, configurations here. You can add uh, HTTPS to your domain, all those uh, things. Also, other raw features based on our deployment. We have built scripts, all the deployment keys. If you have any, you can add it in running variables and post processing. And if you want to customize the notification that you receive whenever your application is deployed, you can configure all the options. So, you can just go through the document and take whatever it's necessary for you and configure those settings for your application. For the, this simple demo application, I don't need anything. I'm just uh, going to deploy and uh, set up CACD. That's it. So now CACD was automatically set up. Now I'm going to change some content in our application and I'm going to see how it is uh, deploying again automatically using CA server. I'm just changing this link to my channel page and I'm going to commit it. So add this file and commit it to your uh, master repository. So we have uh, configured our uh, repository, master repository in uh, Netlify. So we need to commit everything to master repository. So updated channel URL. And I'm going to push it. Once you push it, that will be automatically uh, have uh, the hooks uh, configured for Netlify and uh, GitHub. So you don't need to do anything. Immediately, you should be able to see or that uh, Netlify picks up this commit and uh, start deploying our application. So, for this, you need to go to the deploy staff 
where uh, we are seeing that our application is being you can check the build logs again it's creating a react application build once it is uh, deployed as you see your site is live that way we can go back to the same url just react netlify deployment dot netlify app and if we refresh uh, the changes that we just made was there so ca was uh, integrated in our uh, front end uh, workflow so you can go and uh, check out uh, this uh, this is amazing way of uh, deploying our uh, front end application guys so make use of it thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this